What's wrong? You're all pensive. <laughs> I was just wondering. Why did they want to give us this room? Hmm? Observe our surroundings, Sink. The barred windows, the guarded exit. Uh... Hmm. Maybe it's a guest room. There's running water in here. It's nice. Perhaps. I'm a little... tired. You don't look so good. You should get some rest. I'll stay here with you. That's okay. You wanted to see what's out there, didn't you? But... thanks. You're still the kind mocking I always knew. Not really. It's just that looking around Militess won't fix anything. That's all. Uh-oh. Are you blushing? <laughs> if you're healthy enough to tease me, then you're fine. <laughs> I'll just take a little break here. Yeah. I'll rest for a bit, too. I understand you wanted to talk to me? Well, I thought long and hard about whether I should inform you of this or not. Mm -hmm. And perhaps I may regret doing so, considering the current circumstances. Sir, what is this about? It's about your brother. Uh -huh. I understand that you're not satisfied with the information you've received about his death. I've been informed that you've recently made inquiries pertaining to your brother's death. I can't find any records about the mission my brother was on that day. As I'm sure you've guessed by now, he was killed in the line of duty while completing a top secret mission. My brother on a top secret mission? Class Zero's involvement in the Capital Liberation Campaign was highly classified. Even I didn't know until the last minute. Therefore, it suddenly became necessary to dispatch a liaison between Class Zero and Operation HQ. The liaison that was chosen turned out to be your brother. That's why he was so far out on the front lines? Yes. Your brother died because of Dr. Aratia and Class Zero. You could even go so far as to say they were the ones who killed him. He was originally assigned to a different mission. But Class Zero took him for their own use and sent him to his death. It was unnecessary. Your brother didn't have to die. They killed my brother? Class Zero and the Doctor's objectives remain a mystery to us. That is why we assigned you there, to monitor their actions. But to think there was such a connection between you and Class Zero. If it is too hard on you to be with them and fulfill your mission, I'll pull some strings to get you assigned to a different class. Of course, then it will fall to Rem Tokimia alone to monitor them. No! Please wait! I can't leave Rem alone with them. I mean, for one thing, I don't think Rem could spy on her own classmates. She's too... kind-hearted for that. I'll remain on my assignment, in Class Zero. Oh, ho Such courage! Just what I'd expect from Kunagiri's brother. If you see anything suspicious, report it right away. 
Right. Brother, I swear to you, they took you away from me, but I will become stronger than any of them. I lost you and my memories of you, but I will never lose Rem. I will protect her, no matter what. Hello, Koopo. Mog and orderly Arya are still on duty. So we're here to back you up, Koopo. Talk to Mog if you would like to use Academia facilities, Koopo. Koopo? Hmm? What is it? Is something wrong? I'm not supposed to talk. Why not? We won't get angry with you. You can speak freely. Really? Yes, really. We're done with the charade! Thank you! I can breathe normally now. So, now what? On second thought, maybe you'd better stay quiet. What? Stay quiet? You frickers just got done telling me that I could speak freely. Why don't you try keeping your damn word, frickin' cadets? Um, uh... Who told you not to talk? Hmm? Oh, my ma. She was pleading all frickin' tearfully and such. She was all like, Please don't open your mouth in front of people! Some frickin' mom, huh? But class zero, man! Such big frickin' hearts. It sure is hella nice to have you guys around. I think your mother may have been right. Need something? Need something? stinks in here. Huh? You Rubrum folk reek of crystal. I can't stand it. What's that supposed to mean? Unlike we Militacy, you're like lapdogs to your crystal. I'm getting nauseous just breathing the same air. Hey! You want a piece of this, yo? Huh. You say you work for the good of the crystal. Then bear your fangs during a ceasefire, you animals. Stop. Don't listen to him. 
I'll take on as many rubrum dogs as they throw at me. You say we're the lap dogs for the crystal. But I'd say you make a much better pet for Sid. What did you say? What happened to your emperor who sustained this realm? Why do you follow Sid so blindly? How dare you speak of Marshal Sid that way? Huh. Should have known not to try reasoning with a lapdog. Let's go. Yeah. Curse you, Red Scourge of the Empire! What's up? There are a lot of soldiers here, and I think they're watching us. Well, of course. I mean, sure, a ceasefire's in place. But to them, having us here is like having rogue MAs on the loose. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Take care of it. What was that? I don't know. To the Concordians? We must be like a dragon without a rider. <laughs> yeah. The robin has returned to the nest. I repeat, the robin has returned to the nest. Huh? This feeling. A crystal jammer? An imperial attack? As I suspected, we've been sitting in their trap this whole time. You see... Not now, Trey! Oh. for it if we stay here we'll suffer the same fate let's move on You are authorized to use firearms. Exterminate the targets. Trust them, but still, I'll just have to tear everything apart. Huh? Yeah. Huh? 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 